Hi, I'm Gil Reynolds. This is Allison Nell. We're here for Fuse Master Products, and today we're going to talk about Flexiglass. Flexiglass is a unique binder that you can apply to a special sheet, put frit, powders, any type of glass on top, let it dry, and then it peels off the sheet and you can cut it with scissors. Um, it gives you access to a lot of shapes, images um, that you normally couldn't get by just cutting sheet glass. It gives you uh, detail, uh, shading, uh, this truly really opens your glass vocabulary. It's a product that uh, David Akal and myself co-developed, and it's got a lot of applications. Allison, would you like to show them how to use it? Yes. All right. We're going to start with Fuse Master Transfer Sheet. You're going to go ahead and immediately remove the little separator paper. And I'm going to take my flexiglass medium, and we found that using about two tablespoons will fill one of these sheets perfectly. So I'm just going to measure out two tablespoons right into the middle of my sheet. And it's a thick product, so you'll get a little bit of sticking on the side of your measuring spoon, which is okay. Tap the excess off there. And then you're going to use either a palette knife, a paintbrush, the back of a spoon, whatever works easiest for you to get a nice, consistent, even coating across your sheet. You'll want to remember that the coating you get in your flexiglass is going to be the same thickness about as your final glass flexiglass sheet. So you'll want to make sure to get that all spread on there very evenly. You don't want to go all the way to the edge because we're going to peel it off later and having some space will make that easier for you. So once I get a nice even coating on there I've measured out about half a cup of a dark green transparent powder and because you get a little bit of color shift from the powder color I like to create just a little test strip so I know what the final product color is going to be. And then I'm going to save a little bit of the glass and I'm just going to powder all of this on there and you can see a few dark spots forming you will want to go over them again you don't want any wet spots showing and then I'm gonna let my sheet sit for about 10 minutes I'm going to take this and you can save all this excess powder on here and I'm going to dump it right back into the container. Alright, and this sheet is ready to go right in the kiln. Looks like our kiln's at 200 degrees now. You can go anywhere between 175 to 200 degrees. You'll want to be careful going any hotter than 200 degrees. The lower temperature you do, the less chance there is that the sheet will warp, and so you can keep reusing your sheet over and over again. So we'll put this in here, and we'll check back on it in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. We're going to go ahead and check on our page and see how that's looking. It still has a couple little dark spots that look a little bit wet. So we'll go ahead and give it another five to ten minutes and we'll check on it again. We're going to check on our sheet again. And as you can see, there are no wet spots on this piece. So it is all ready to go. And now, you can see if you start right at the edge, it peels up evenly. 
and we have a flexi glass sheet we're ready to start creating with. And you can start cutting any sort of shapes and designs that you want to use. Here's some examples of the way that flexiglass is going to act when placed in different areas of the glass. So this first example is with our components put directly on top of two sheets of glass. We use two sheets just to help control volume. As you can see, you get a small amount of contraction in this one. So you get an image that's similar but slightly different. You also get your lines that aren't connected to anything else that stay fairly true. Here we have an example of firing in the middle of two sheets of glass. So we're not going to get as much constriction in this piece, however you do get some bubbles that form in between your two layers of glass. So you'll want to watch for that when you're designing Here's an example of firing directly on the kiln shelf. So I built this same image, we put it directly on the kiln shelf, and then we're going to put our two layers of glass directly over the top of that, and we'll fire just like that. So you get a little bit different design, but you don't have as much of the constriction throughout your piece. This last one here, which is my favorite way to use flexiglass, is to go both on top and on your kiln shelf. So you can create really neat dimension and a piece that you can use from either angle. Allison, this is a lot of great information. I can see how people can use flexiglass to create a lot of different looks. Um, let's do some more videos to show us some more tricks down the road, okay? Sounds great. From Fuse Master Products, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. That was good. That was a good one. Okay.